Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is an M6. It's a tier 6 American heavy tank. It's located on the south spawn of Erlenburg and it's under the command of Red Dog Alpha 1. That's basically derived from a T1 heavy. The 90mm gun instead of the 76mm makes it much more effective. Game on! Now, it's, um, they did actually make a number of these, nine vehicles in total, eight serial ones and one experimental. And the experimental one actually had uh, an upgraded gun. Um, most of the guns in the game are the 76mm as you're working your way up to the 90mm. If you can get past the uh, grind of uh, doing the 76mm guns and get to the 90mm straight away, your game experience will be enhanced tremendously because it's really boring trying to drive this thing along with a 76 millimeter because you can't do much damage especially at tier six well he's decided to try and come past them we just saw a Junu go past the gap and now we're seeing a Mitsu about to do the same in fact he did get past and there's a KV of some kind KV-1S. I could tell it was a KV because of the turret. I knew it was a KV of some kind. Probably, I thought it might be the 85. But yeah, the Mitsu is taking damage. That one went into the engine bay. And he's aiming between the tracks or trying to. And there's the kill shot. So he's got a kill. And oh, look at this. Brazen, isn't it? tried to drive straight through that will probably go near the Amarak oh he went down as well well no he hasn't actually been damaged or killed rather he's just been tracked now he's been killed and we've got another contender although he dies before we can even shoot at him <laughs> oh dear not so good it means that uh, there are lots of teammates getting a lots of success. That was a Junu, by the way, but... Oh, and that's sneaky. The enemy have got two arty, and one of them fired at us. And it, I think it was the Fifi we fired in this direction, not the Gorilla. But now we've got the KV-1S. And, yeah, the DPM on this is quite good. The standard reload time 6.71. And... You can see that uh, Red Dog Alpha 1, 5.75. Yes, he did take a couple of hits from the KV-1S, but not really consequential at all. Okay, we've got an enemy up there. Can we get a shot? Yes, we can. Stop. Just over the engine deck. It actually did touch him and ricocheted off. So, yeah, that must have been a heart-in-his-mouth moment. And the enemy is capping. Yep, they found our arty at the other end of the map. <laughs> oh dear. Well, unfortunately, a VK2801105. No, it's actually just the standard 2801. Found our arty at the cap, killed the SU122. Our A46 is now doing his job for a change. And actually going in there to dislodge that VK and tell him to F off. Well, that's annoying. Oh, that was a good hit. That one solid hit on the Stug. Now, the Alpha on this gun, by the way, it's a uh, it's a 90 millimeter, so it's 220, uh, 240 Alpha rubber, and the standard pin is 160 with the premium rounds. It's actually 243. Oh, Thunderbolt! Now, should he actually engage this or not? Well, ideally with a friend, there's a Polak tank nearby, but he's on the other side of the wall. So he's going to have to take on this Thunderbolt on his own. Difficulty with Thunderbolts is they have lots of armor at the front of the vehicle. You don't want to be facing the front, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's keeping his front to us to make sure he's got the maximum armor. But the 90mm rounds are just carving their way through. And uh, one more shot, and he's going to be out the game. He did get a hit on us, but there you go. There's the kill. 
Enemy RT is over on the corner. It looks like the griller took the usual spot, which might mean that the PP is actually over near the trees, right on the corner of the field. So he's probably in A1, whilst the griller's over here. We don't know if there's any enemy over to our right. Again, the enemy's capping at the other end of the map, and there's only three of us left. All of us are heavy tanks. If he does go after the RT and kills them, and he should try. I know, yes, the enemy's capping at the other end, and we want to try and cap out together. But I don't think he's going to get the chance, because he is spotted. And so the enemy is going to try and fire at him. Yeah, in fact, both tanks are actually in the same spot. He actually fired that into the body of the tank. He should have gone for the gun shield. But he did get the pen. And now I've got to try and kill the gorilla. I'm afraid I don't think we're going to be able to cap out now. He is going to get the kill on this gorilla. There's not a lot the gorilla can do. He's going to die one way. And that's a that's a Pascucci's medal as well as a Top Gun. P43 Viz is trying to get shots on us. I don't think he really needs to... Uh, uh, waste his life trying to shoot at us because the team are going to lose. We're going to lose this game. We couldn't keep pace with the uh, whoever's capping at the other end. And I suspect it's the Stug who happens to be capping. P43 wouldn't be able to fire us as if he was at the other end. So it has to be the Stug. And it looks like he's going to get an Invader medal. And he has. He's won. Well, despite the fact that Red Dog Alpha 1 was doing his job and trying to kill the enemy as much as he could, I'm afraid his teammates kind of left the back door open. That stug that was up on top of the hill that he failed to actually get the hit on, but narrowly missed hitting him, actually ricocheted off the engine bay. Uh, that was the guy who actually capped out and won in the end. You can see that Red Dog Alpha 1 got a first-class tanker out of the game, so he wasn't lacking in uh, the... Um, the, the skill and the uh, will to actually win the game, but sadly his teammates just left the cap open too long. Duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him, fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle, bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, he got five exactly. You also got a Pascucci's medal for killing both enemy SPGs, which were a Fifi and a Gorilla. He also got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and a Top Gun but getting at least six kills and well the p43 thought that he would have a go at us right at the end of the game it would have been a bad mistake for the p43 biz to try and take him out because even if he's got a 90 millimeter gun he's got much less armor than an m6 and if he tried to fight it out uh shot for shot he would have lost in the end so it was a good idea for him only to fire one shot uh but stay out of reach the win eight was 15,110, which is super unicum and quite a bit more, but sadly it was a loss in this uh, instance. Let's have a look at team score. Highest damage was 3,467 hit points. That went to Red Dog Alpha 1. Second highest damage went to the Polak as well. The other guy on our team still alive. 2,108 hit points of damage to him. Third place was the Fifi on uh, the enemy team, 1,973. He was being particularly effective in that game. When it came to kills, yep, the M6 got that one as well. Red Dog Alpha 1 got six kills. Four kills went to the Polak. Two kills went to the Heavy Tank number six on our team. And to five players on the enemy team, including the Fifi, the Chaffee, the Wizzy 131 GFT, the VK 3001H, and the P43 Biz, who did survive. And there we can see the Stug Dry Alsalum G got the Invader medal, while the VK managed to get a Leather Slayers medal in that game. And when it came to base XP, it's actually Red Dog Alpha 1 who comes up with the highest. Even though he was on the losing team, he still managed to come out with the highest base XP, which means he got the top in all three columns, even though he was a losing player. So, yeah, that's a pretty unusual occurrence because it doesn't normally happen that way. 
because the winning team normally gets a bonus because, of course, they get the uh, um, the win. They get extra XP out of that. But on this occasion, there were two members of the enemy team still alive and um, or rather of his team still alive when the enemy won. And uh, yes, their best player was their Fifi, 874, 726 went to the VK2801. The guy who went in there early on in the game killed the arty and then got, uh, or did he kill the arty? No, I think there might have been another one there. No, it wasn't him who killed the arty, somebody else did. But um, uh, we can see that the next best on base XP was in fact the, uh, the Polak tank with 657. When it came to detail, 23 shots fired, 20 direct hits, 18 penetrations, damage of 3,467, of which 202 were at more than 300 meters. He received 10 hits from the enemy, six penetrated, three non-penetrations, and one hit by way of splash. That was the enemy RT towards the end of the game. He did get one hit in. 275 hit points of damage blocked by armor. He spotted six enemy vehicles, damaged seven, killed six, and got 92 hit points of damage assistance. He actually suffered a loss of 11,122 credits for the game on a premium count, but he did get a positive on base XP of 2,130. So at least, um, well, it wasn't base XP, but on experience points anyway. But at least he did manage to show that he was up for it, even if the rest of his team wasn't. And they kind of left the, the back door open for the enemy. Always got to watch out for that. If the enemy thinks that they can take the cap by going for the rear end and, you know, doing a quick cap. Uh, yes, you should always have somebody close enough to actually go back and get a reset. The Polak just didn't respond when those uh, initial siren sounds started. He should have gone straight back, but there was no way Red Dog Alpha 1 can make it from one end of the map to the other in time to get a reset. So he is excused the fact that because he was actually in the cap at the time that so uh, the enemy cap at the time that the siren started. So there was nothing that he could do in this game to win other than do what he did. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.